Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you like my YouTube walkaround videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via mobile phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walkaround video, we'd like to present you this spectacular new 2023 Porsche 911 Turbo S Coupe. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership, it's actually part of our new car inventory, which based on the current marketplace conditions is a very special opportunity, as it is very hard to find a new car allocation for a 911 Turbo S of model year 2023. So please contact me directly via mobile phone or email if this Porsche 911 is of your interest. In today's walk around video we're going to highlight the build specifications on this stunning car and of course talk about the 911 Turbo S in general. This specific one in 2023, so the latest model year of the 992 generation Porsche 911, introduced here in the US as a 2021 in the 911 Turbo and the Turbo S specification. Still till today the most powerful 911 Turbo S in production with 640 horsepower from its twin turbo 3.8 liter flat six. This specific car finished in the iconic GT Silver Metallic. Beautiful iconic silver color within the Porsche brand dating back many years. Also equipped with the Sport Design Package in high gloss black. The Sport Design Package can be recognized with these uh, aerodynamic bits added to the vehicle here on the front fascia. Look at this wing shape element here on the uh, right hand side of the front bumper design. Very aggressive styling. Also of course applied on the other side. Now why is this the high gloss black version of the Sport Design Package? As you can see the middle section here of the front splitter painted by Porsche exclusive manufacturer in high gloss black looking very sporty especially against the contrast with the GT Silver. Porsche Active Aerodynamics have been standard now for the 911 Turbo S since the 991 Generation 1 introduced in 2014. So we have this active front splitter currently in the down position. Of course this automatically deploys at high speed driving so that the vehicle has additional downforce in the front. When the front splitter is in the down position that means the rear wing is in the up position which we'll see later, later on. LED matrix design headlights are standard for the 911 Turbo S. The beautiful inside housing, really a piece of art. You can also see the uh, script here on the inside housing as Porsche does it. The beautiful design of the daytime running lights with these very sharp eye looking LEDs around the center LED. Looking stunning. Also the little lines here on the bottom. When the lights is actually illuminated, you're going to see those light up uh, for a beautiful light spectrum inside of the headlight housing. The 911 Turbo S, as I introduced uh, earlier, introduced in the US as a 2021, so then 2021, 2022, and this is the latest generation as a model year 2023. Also very wide as you might notice here, look at the front width of the fenders, also on the back with the active intakes to the 3.8 liter flat six. Sport design package also adds the side skirts here on the bottom being painted in high gloss black. What was also added to this specific vehicle by Porsche exclusive manufacturer is that the lower section of the mirror housing has been painted once again in high gloss black. Also the window trim in high gloss black has been added to this specific vehicle. Looking beautiful again against the contrast of the GT Silver. Also the rear side air intakes painted once again by Porsche exclusive manufacturer in high gloss black. The wheels are the standard Turbo S center locking wheels, 20 inches in the front, 21 inches in the back. Center locking of course, beautiful racing technology coming over to the road cars. Right behind it you can also see the large carbon ceramic rotors as the PCCB, the Porsche Carbon Composite Brake System, is standard for the 911 Turbo S. The largest diameter carbon ceramic rotor we've ever used for the 911 Turbo S. Incredible performance level, an 8 piston front caliper, just stunning how Porsche does that engineering. Also for the rear axle, the rear axle steering system still standard of course since 2014 now giving an incredible capability of this daily drivable sports car or supercar. Top track speed over 200 miles an hour, zero to 60s have been measured in about two and a half seconds in the 911 Turbo S. Again, 640 horsepower from its twin turbo flat six connected to the active all wheel drive with an eight speed PDK dual clutch transmission. Okay, let's continue here back to the rear of the vehicle. Before we do so, let's see the optional glass sunroof currently in the open position. Very nice to have that additional daylight on the top of the cabin. Also that feel of luxury of course, which we'll see the other luxury items on the inside later on. Again, I mentioned the sport design package equipped on this vehicle in high gloss black. Now this also redesigns the design of the rear wing. You can see that the lower element has now been extended and then you have the horn shape here at the outer tips. For the stand rear wing, we're gonna come over here to this paint to sample signal green. Now this rear wing is currently in the down position, but you can see that the uh, upper element 
is the actual longer element versus the bottom section and again going back to the sport design version you can see how different that is regardless if the rear wing is in the up or down position also specifically ordered on this car is that the uh, slats here on the back of the engine deck are painted by Porsche Exclusive Manufacture once again in high gloss black normally those are silver another factory option on this one is the exclusive design tail lights you can see the middle section of the three-dimensional tail lights going all the way across being fully clear well again compared to the green vehicle you can see the middle section of the tail lights are finished in red another factory option is the 911 Turbo S model designation being painted in high gloss black again and in the last section here for the sport design package is the lower dif uh, diffuser of the vehicle or the rear fascia once again painted in high gloss black as this is the sport design package in high gloss black now with the sport design package it's mandatory to also upgrade the exhaust system to the Porsche sport exhaust system with the active flaps so with the press of a button the flaps can open to get the extra sound from the twin turbo flat six in my opinion very similar in sound to the gt2 rs of the 991.2 generation and what a performance level of course this car has again look at the whiff of the fenders here on the back against the uh, sport design package used to be called aero kit in the back in the day so that's a name that a lot of porsche enthusiasts will also recognize okay so we saw most of the outside details let's have a look on the inside where the 18-way sport seats plus are standard for the 911 turbo s the same for the full leather package on the inside this one finished you can see in the full black leather inside also standard for the 911 turbo s is the 930 interior package you can see the beautiful pattern here in the middle section of the seat and the seat surface inspired by the classic 930 turbo from back in the day and that same pattern can also be found here in the door panel once again inspired by the classic 930 interior from back in the day and how cool is it that porsche is bringing these classic design details from the classic air cool days into the modern day porsche 911. another factory option this one is the gt sport steering wheel finished in race tax with uh, with carbon fiber in the middle section so you can see that the spokes have been finished in real carbon fiber with the actual outer rim of the wheel finished in race tax more race tax can be found on the headliner as standard on the turbo s and then added also to the specific vehicle is that the sun visors are also added in race tax other factory options is that the seats are also ventilated and heated also the center armrest once again finished in race tax with the porsche crest and boss there in the center part sport chrono package of course standard on the 911 turbo s but this one also equipped with the sport chrono clock finished in yellow let's get a look there you can see it in the middle section there of the top of the dashboard carbon fiber is also standard for the turbo s when it comes to the uh, sill going all the way here or sorry, the strip i should say in the dashboard or inlay in matte carbon fiber the same as the steering wheel finish on this car and it also continues here in the door panel other details is the burmester 3d surround sound as a factory option so the ultimate speaker system here for the porsche 911 brand new 2023 like i mentioned earlier very special opportunity so more beautiful yellow details on the inside in the form of the seat belts. I mentioned the sport chrono clock, of course, earlier, matching, of course, the beautiful calipers on the outside, also in the same yellow. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Again, please contact me directly if this Porsche 911 is of your interest so I can confirm the availability, talk about the full specifications, of course, the pricing structure of this vehicle. My name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. I wish everybody happy holidays. Keep sharing the Porsche passion. I will see you guys in the next YouTube walkaround video. Many exciting products also to come in the calendar year 2023. And thank you so much once again. We're getting closer and closer to 20,000 subscribers, which is uh, something I'm very proud of. Thank you so much all for the thumbs up. Keep sharing the videos if you can, as it really helps for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.